my name is Rosie and today I oh there's a dog today I'm making a video that I've been so excited to make today we're making Halloween treat bags so let's get started by showing you what I'm gonna put in them for starters I have these bags which you guys have seen before um they're from the dollar store they're Ziploc and they have this cute design and there are 40 in here which isn't a whole lot, so we might run out, so I'm also just going to have some candy in a bowl in case we do. And what are we going to fill the bags with? We have this huge bag of 205 pieces of candy. It has my two favorite chocolates, Crunch and Butterfinger, and then Gobstoppers and Nerds for the fruity candies. And then I also have over here some Sweet Tarts gummies of Crunch Bars, Butterfingers, and Baby Ruth. So those are probably going to go in a bowl if I run out of bags. Um, and then for non-candy items, in each bag there will be either a mouse, which come in all these different colors, they're kind of rubbery. I think we got them after season last year. Or pencil top erasers, which you've also seen before from the dollar store. There are little uh, vampires and looks like bats and a pumpkin. In these different colors so now I'm gonna open everything up and lay it all out kind of organize it and then we'll get started filling the bags up wow that's satisfying come on man So here's the deal, I definitely want to put one non-candy item in each bag, but I don't know how I want to split up the candy because there are about 200 pieces, so I could technically fit, or I technically have enough, to put five pieces of candy in each bag. But there are only four different kinds of candy, but if, if I only put one of each kind of candy in the bag, then I'll end up with a bunch left over. So I guess I'm just going to start by putting one of each kind in the bag and one non-candy item in each bag. So here it's all sorted out. So we're going to get started and I'm going to show you the process of filling up a couple bags. So we're going to open up our treat bag. Pretty easy to open. Here's what they look like. They're kind of just like Ziploc bags but they have that really cute design on them. So we're going to open them up. And they're nice and small if you don't really go overboard because you can get a lot of these. You get 40 for a dollar. All right, so we're going to start this one with a mouse. I like the black mice classic. And then we're going to put one crunch bar, one butterfinger, one box of nerds. I'm going to go pink because those are my favorite. And one, that one little gobstopper thing. And so that is one treat bag. And it looks pretty full. So I'm thinking that that's a good amount of candy, but I might go back and add more later. So we're going to zip it up and put it in this big orange bowl and fill up 39 more of those. And now, sorry, my, my brother's helping me fill the bags. Um, we're gonna do another one. Take away the erasers. I'm gonna do this little purple Frankenstein. Then we're gonna do, with the purple theme, following the purple theme, we're gonna go with some grape nerds. And then one of each chocolate. And a gobstopper. And there's the second bag. Comment down below what you think this is. It's a clown. It's a clown. I don't think so. It kind of looks like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, I don't know. It has like ears, like dog ears. This is a mistake. Mm. A mistake. But it has like triangle eyes, like a jack o -lantern. I don't know. Maybe it's a person in a costume. So, update. There's the dog again. Um, <laughs> we're about out of crunches, as you can see. And we're almost done with the bags. We have maybe like five left. Um, so, I think I'm going to open up this bag. Oh, it's more right here and take the crunches out of here because I think that the four pieces of candy and the non-candy item is enough to fill up the bags. So we're gonna have quite a bit left over. I'll just use that in the bowl and so I'm gonna take the crunches out of this so that all the bags will stay consistent. So now we have this giant bowl filled with 40 treat bags. We didn't count but I'm assuming there's 40 because that's what the packaging said. And as you can see back here, we have a lot of gobstoppers and a few butterfingers left and also a couple mice. So we're gonna put all that in our pumpkin bucket. Also empty out the extra candy that we bought.
So now if we run out of treat bags, we still have something to give out so they can probably pick one or two depending on how late it is in the night. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love making treat bags. I love watching videos of people making treat bags and yeah, they're like my favorite videos to watch around this time of year. Question of the day is what is your favorite Halloween candy? As far as candies that are really specifically for Halloween, I love the Halloween Kit Kats that are like orange because they're basically just the white chocolate ones except they're like colored orange. But I love the white, the white chocolate Kit Kats are so good. Um, but as far as just candy, I love bottle caps and I actually really love black licorice, which is weird. I know a lot of people hate it, but I I love it. There's nothing like it, you know? So, um, please comment down below what your favorite candy is to get on Halloween or just in general. So this is probably going up either the day before Halloween or on Halloween. So I just want to say, um, be safe, um, use the buddy system, bring a flashlight, wear glow sticks, and eat a lot of candy because it's Halloween and that's what Halloween is for. But listen to your parents. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later this week. Happy Halloween. Bye. Bye.